Okay, wh why are we doing this bridge? For my bridge project at school. And Calvin wants to do the steel bridge here in Portland. And what he liked about this bridge is that it moves. It isn't just a static bridge. It's the only double lift bridge in the world where both uh, the lower deck and the upper deck can move separately in the center of the bridge. So Calvin wanted to cut the bridge out on the CNC machine, which made a lot of sense. We started by finding some photos and a drawing of the bridge, but we had to convert that into line work so that we could use the line work to send to the CNC machine to have the machine cut out all of our parts. What did you learn from doing the drawings? That AutoCAD is confusing. <laughs> And then once we had that, we could start cutting out pieces. And I've got a new dust collection set up. <laughs> so with cutting out all of these trusses, we cut the center of the trusses or the or the pattern first. Then once that was cut, we could we could cut the truss out of the, the sheet of plywood. Because if you cut the truss out first, then there's no way to hold the piece to cut out the the holes in the middle. And it was a lot of watching. <laughs> the CNC machine is very noisy and slow. Is it fun to watch? Yeah, when it's actually cutting out something interesting besides triangles. <laughs> and once we had the pieces cut out, we could sand them a little bit to get the, the fuzzy edges off and it was a matter of gluing the pieces together. So you want to put just like a little bit of glue? On this side? On those side, on, yeah, you got to start. What are you going to be doing? Waiting for you. That's no fun. Mm -hmm. Are you doing the first one? So now we do the other side? Yeah. Okay. We started in the center with a center piece and got that going. Now I found we could glue it and then I could use my pin nailer to, to put little pin nails in to hold the pieces in place while the glue dried. And this worked pretty well. Then we could work on the sides. They're supposed to be doors. So we got the center mostly put together. <laughs> Where got a little is... screwing around. Wait, we have to go get the make a road. Yeah, that we should just be able to cut out. Not on the CNC machine. And we worked on the sides, which are pretty similar. It's basically like putting together a model. I mean, that's what it is. So a lot of gluing and putting pieces together. And making pieces fit. <laughs> but we got the, the center and the two sides put together. And it was a lot of putting pieces together and then realizing we needed a piece that we hadn't cut out yet and going and cutting out that piece and then coming back and gluing and attaching and until we got to a point where we needed another piece. Once we had the, the pieces mostly together, we could start working on the base or the river, basically. So we put some piers down and some ground at each end. Now, we didn't want to glue the pieces in place just yet. We wanted to make sure everything was going to work. This would have been a, a fairly straightforward project if it had been a, a static bridge. But because of the movement in the bridge, it took a lot of planning and figuring and fitting, making sure that the pieces would move the way that we wanted them to. I cut the deck for the top. It's got a little bit of an angle at the edges, so we, we cut that into a piece of plywood. And we cut the roads and sidewalks into the top of the deck with the CNC as well. I can cut that to length. And we're getting closer. It's starting to look like something now. <laughs> and we went back and did some more cutting. We needed the pulleys that hold the cables at the top of the towers. So we started by cutting out circles 
with a very precise center. But the circles needed a groove in them so the string would ride in the groove and wouldn't, wouldn't fall off the pulley. So I had Calvin do a little, a little bit of wood turning. You do? Yeah. Well, why'd you cut out five? Just an extra one in case we screwed one up. So we made a little groove in the pulley. The ones place, tens place, hundreds place, a thousand place. I like doing the lathe. It was very fun and scary at the same time. Chuck, it went along faster. Is that better? Uh, we didn't do it right in the middle. No, no. Doesn't matter a whole lot. You, you, you don't have to tip it, just squeeze. There, perfect. Okay, now that side too. Then we could glue the pulleys into place on the towers. They just sit on, on a little dowel that gl gets glued to the, the truss of the towers. The pulley can move around the, the dowel. And we needed a little lip on the lower deck to hold the deck up so it doesn't, doesn't fall into the water. Then we glued the two sides onto the piers. And then we glued the top deck onto the onto the two sides. And we made the little motor house that sits in the middle of the of the centerpiece. This is the little house that holds the, the motors that raise and lower the, the center of the bridge. We tried putting magnets in the bottom of this to hold the lower deck up in place. And we got the magnets in and that worked, but I was never able to get a screw or, or some little piece of metal on the lower deck to attach to the magnet. So it never really worked very well. And we could shape the house on the descender. One thing we needed to do was make sure our weights were the same weight as the center section of the bridge. So that the center section of the bridge is balanced with the weights. Is eight. Eight total, we have five. So we need three more ounces. <coughs> we need three ounces of those. And I had thought our wood weights would be heavy enough, but it turned, it turned out we needed to add some weight to our wood weights. And we probably need a little bit more. So I, I'd actually add another one. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay. And like... Well, 1.7. We'll just weigh out 1.7. We balance the weights with lead and using a scale. So we cut out a pocket within the, the wood weights on the CNC. Okay, you want to put the... Weights down? Weights in there. Okay, where's the little scale? Okay, what were these supposed to be? 1.5, 1.7? Mm. No. Wait, how heavy is this? Two, eight. Now that was eight. We know that's eight. So this is... 8.3. There we go. So we need... Yeah, we need one and a half. Wait, what if we do them together? What happens if we do them together? Yeah, see, we, we, we need to get to 8.3, not 7.8. Okay. okay, well, we need to get these glue in, so then... It turned out we didn't quite make a big enough pocket, so we ended up having to clamp really hard to, to close the wood together. And it kind of works. <laughs> It's not really working. We needed a little tab on the upper deck to hold the, the upper deck in place so it doesn't fall too low. As we were doing this, we kept finding places where parts had to be modified. So we were finding that on the lower section, a little bit in the center at the ends had to be cut out. It was in the way. And we glued some little pieces on the side so that the, the part that moves would sort of ride up and down the, the towers. Yeah. And we could put the weights on. We ended up doing the string as a loop so that it would sort of self-center and self-balance on the weight.
and we glued the little motor house in place, and it was basically done. <laughs> Did that river through it? Where's the house? Oh. Put it, you can put the magnets front, I guess, in case we do want to put them on. So you can see that the lower section can raise up and down and then the, the upper section will move up and down with the, with the lower section in, inside of it. And it turned out pretty well. It's, it's fairly fragile, but it works. And Calvin was very happy with it. It's amazing! Thanks for watching.